All right, so it's Sunday, June 17th, and just watched the most amazing football game I haven't seen, I've seen in like a long ass time. Patriots and Steelers, with the winner having the best pathway to having home field advantage throughout the playoffs. And it was a lot of back and forth at the end. And it was a controversial call, of course, that the, a lot of Steelers fans are going to be pissed about. Our Patriots fans are going to be like, ooh, okay. About. But my thoughts on that is that as long as the refs are consistent in the way they rule on that call, in each game, in each instance, whenever there's a challenge on whether or not because they would a catch be, was made, uh, they would be I'm okay with it. But just, there just can't be any like variance from one ref to another, or from there needs to be consistent, there needs to be a standard set on the rule, and then I'm good with it. <coughs> that being said, I wouldn't mind if they actually loosen the rule a little bit, because it almost seems like somebody has to be spot on perfect at times, and any movement of the ball it gets called not a catch but I mean I'm glad it came our way this time the Patriots fan because that's huge so if they, these two teams meet which most likely they will in the AFC Championship I'm glad the game's going to be in Foxborough and not in Pittsburgh so now the reason I'm kind of doing this is I recently had the idea since most every weekday I end up going through the Tip O'Neill Tunnel in Boston from Woburn multiple times a day. And I thought of the idea of just doing occasional, maybe not like on a regular, regular basis, but an occasional tunnel talk. We're going through and run up and see where we're going to get the Zakem Bridge. Get up here the TD Garden. They're about to go through the tunnel. So I just do some random thoughts, you know, whatever was on my mind at that moment of that day. And as we're going through the tunnel. Some days it's congested traffic depending on what time I'm going through. Other times it's like now it's just gonna be pretty open and we're gonna be able to just go right through. So they're gonna be different time, different lengths. Some of the long congestion ones might be a 10 minute talk if I do it the whole time. Like if I start like right now as we're going through the tunnel and end it as soon as we get out. But other times it's going to be like now about a two and a half minute ride. So but that obviously that game was let's be a preeminent in my mind right now because that's that's exciting football. That was amazing. See here I got in the background of EEI. They're analyzing, of course, the game right here. The, the tremendous amount of risk in that thing. That's where you screw up and lose the game. Let's look at it again. I think I bet you'd see the safety over the top of that. That's why he didn't fade it. He turned back in and fired. <laughs> that was that was his decision. It was the worst. I think you're right. It was just Tom made a bad decision, gave him seven points. Yep. Right, the Burger made a yeah, horrible decision and lost the game. Yeah, I think, decisions uh, in the game. Yeah, I think Tom Brady did something very similar. It wasn't yeah, I almost wonder if the hype of the game, the importance of the game, really got to both. To and he was both hit, teams kind of over, overthinking at times. Idea. He was going to make the throw, right. as opposed to throwing it, fading it out of bounds, or throwing it in the sideline, where happen. you can't get hurt by it. When Tom tried to step forward, the guy hit him, so his momentum went backwards. What I like about EEI, the broadcasters, is they're not... If you're fully like homers for the local team, they'll criticize, they'll make that points that and say, that like, No, that was completely game. wrong, and they won't crazy. just blindly wave the flag, you know, for yeah, local team at all costs. Uh, so they're very critical. The Red Sox at times, the Bruins, the Celtics, and the Patriots. Like, but they're also, yeah, when they do things right, they praise too. So, sorry. Everything is going Pittsburgh's way. To really make this series work, though, I really should do that. I gotta get a, uh, a permanent cell phone holder on the drive. But see, now we're actually exiting the tunnel now. So I'm gonna end this first talk, and uh, I'm sure we'll do another tunnel talk soon. Brian Griffin out.